Hello, this is nice. I want to invite all of you to bring back this, uh, design diversity. Um, and who's me? Uh, I'm Matthias, as you've been told, but I also go by CS Essence. Um, design diversity, what do I mean with that? Um, earlier this year, this happened on Twitter. And I was like, okay, yeah, websites, boring, sure. Do we know about this as a community? And I had to agree, yes, websites are getting boring. And there's proof because we're making fun of it. Uh, Jeremy Karbowski made this project. And there's so much truth in that. If you scroll down all the way, um, if you look at major redesigns these days, they're all looking like that. I wouldn't mind so much if, if the user experience would go up, but that's not the case. So how do we fix the boring? Um, consider polar balls. A popular voting platform, sadly they uh, stopped operations a couple of months ago, but this was their take on tablet screens. And mm, that is uh, Luke Rablovsky, you all know him, uh, he's Mr. Data himself, so he's doing design, uh, actually data-driven decisions on his designs. And he said, okay, uh, tablets usually hold in a, held in a landscape orientation with two hands, so there you go. A uh, two-thumb operation, you can uh, quickly browse through all the available polls and do the actual voting on the right. Cool, huh? But this is hard. It takes time getting used to it. We've been trained. The content goes in the center, and here we have this big, almost unused space. Hmm. Well, I always wanted to show my own site on big screen. Uh, <laughs> I'm using a visual imbalance on purpose. Um, you had to be considerate in what you put towards to your users uh, because it shouldn't be too hard to figure things out. The thing with boring sites is uh, we all know them well, so we know what to do. Here we have, for example, slightly cut off elements. And there's even first time visitors, there's a natural tendency if something is slightly cut off to, to scroll to reveal. Uh, so this should work. Uh, speaking of being considerate in what you dump to your, uh, towards your users, um, I'm not showing this to mock them. Um, also, this is not like, it's not a, the, you remember last century websites, they've been quite diverse, you know. And this is not a call for a renaissance on, on, on bringing back those sites. No, no, not at all. Uh, the actual point I'm trying to make, it's not so much about the final design, it's more on the, the, the patterns, the design patterns we have at our disposal. And this is where we seem to be stuck. We have the continuous long scroll on mobile, we have the hamburger menu. Uh, we need to expand the repertoire. And to do so, we need to innovate. And innovation can't be done on local host. Innovation needs to be done out there in the open, from uh, small pet projects to high-traffic websites. And I think we can do this. Um, yeah, we can set course for a future beyond the boring, a future where um, tweets like this one no longer show up, to make the web this great, diverse place it was always meant to be by design. Thank you. Oh, thank you.